meets the past, where imagination meets innovation, and where once again, giants walk the earth. It's my job. Please, I got this. Genie, 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 back up. Leave the nice tourists alone. That's good. Now a little more. That's amazing. The dinosaur actually listens to you. Thank you. She's a really smart girl. I just wish she'd listen to everything I tell her. <laughs> Like when I say not to escape from your pen to go exploring... again? Ugh, I don't know why you think you can trust a dinosaur. And I don't know why you work here when you don't even like dinosaurs. Because I like people, and preventing them from being eaten. Also, the pay is good. It's just a gyrosphere, Genie. She's never seen one before. She was just curious. Yeah, that's great. And can we go? Oh, of course. Sorry for the inconvenience. Please enjoy the rest of your day at... And they're rolling away. Genie, how many times do I have to tell you? You need to stay in your pen where it's safe. I know, you're a tough girl like me, but we gotta stick together. Oh, here we go. It's okay, Genie. Take it easy, guys. Go! Relax, girl. Go, go, go! Kate, you'll be okay. Circle up. I'm here, Genie. Drown the ass. Watch it. Get her. Stop! You're scaring her! Get to the other side. Be careful. Whoa! Whoa! Back off! It's okay, guys. We don't need any reinforcements. Dr. Kate Walker and I have the situation under control. Yeah. So get out of here. That's not your order to give. And who are you? Kurt Reed, InGen Security Division's new head of special ops. And I've heard about you, Dr. Walker. You have a reputation for being difficult. I prefer persistent. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to protect this dinosaur. Now get your goons out of here before they ruin the years of trust I've built up with her. Don't tell me how to do my job. If you've done yours, we wouldn't have a dinosaur on the loose. Contain the asset. Easy. Never assume a scientist doesn't dabble in mixed martial arts. Stand down, Dr. Walker, or you'll never set foot on this island again. 
Come on, Kate. You'll lose your dinosaur forever. Wise choice. Don't think this is over between you and me. <laughs> I've wasted enough time on this nonsense. Brock, finish this. I'm warning you guys. If you hurt her... Kate, let ACU do their job and you'll see Jeannie back at the research facility. Jeannie, just stay calm. I promise I'll see you very soon. I'm sorry, Jeannie. Don't worry. ACU knows what they're doing. Jeannie's gonna be okay. Well, she better be. I guess you're driving again. Social media, Chad. I said we'd talk about that. How did someone like you get an internship here? Actually, Oscar, Chad's a real tech whiz. Yeah, when I was 15 years old, I invented an anti-theft cell phone app. Oh, really? What's it do? When the phone doesn't recognize someone's fingerprints, it overheats the battery. Oh, 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 hot, hot, hot! The app's called Red Handed. Download it for 99 cents. Oh my gosh, there are so many more types of dinosaurs here in the restricted area. Which doesn't seem very restricted today. Who are you? I'm Allison, your paleo veterinary intern. It's so great to be working with you, Dr. Walker. I've read all your papers. Thank you, that's so kind. Martin, I told you I don't have time for an intern. Give her a chance. She really knows her dinosaurs. Another one? <laughs> What is this, a parade? Dr. Wu wants this new baby Ankylosaurus to be taken to the central lab for more testing. But my vehicle seems to have run out of gas. Oh, look! She's so cute! Is she a newborn? Interesting. She's asymmetrical. Yes. She was born at the lab earlier today with a group of kids from Camp Cretaceous watching. And one of them named her Bumpy. Oh, Hello, baby Bumpy. <laughs> okay. This is all fascinating, but this is a high security zone. So you and Bumpy are gonna have to leave. I'll have someone drive you. Wow, is he always this much fun to be around? I'm security. Making new friends is not part of the job description. Although I think it's fair to say you enjoy that about your work, Oscar. 
Is that a troodon? It's my favorite theropod from the Cretaceous period, which is really saying something since you just gotta love the Suchomimus. Hey, nobody goes near the dinosaur except Kate. That thing is a vicious killer. That's why I'm stationed here, to protect you crazy people. Did that thing eat the last interns? Is that why there was an opening? No, 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 no. She's never eaten anyone. But Oscar's right. She can be dangerous. Troodons are predators. The only reason I can get close is because I've spent years building trust with her. We work with Troodons because they're the most intelligent dinosaurs to have ever lived. Even smarter than Velociraptors. And this one's especially smart, which is why we named her Genie. It's short for genius. Okay, Genie, it's time to accessorize. Come on, you're a pro at this. Hold still. That's not hurting her, is it? No, no, it's just an EEG cap. It's transmitting Genie's brainwave pattern to this, the Dino Decoder. What the heck is a Dino Decoder? I'm glad you asked. Now you've done it. Here comes the slideshow. Science has identified distinct relationships between brainwave activity and emotional states. So we developed an electroencephalogram cap to scan dinosaur brainwaves and transmit them to the Dino Decoder. From its readouts, we're able to decipher the basic emotions the dinosaur is experiencing. Dr. Riley's device is an incredible advancement of science and technology. Well, I couldn't have done it without you by my side. I wouldn't want to do anything without you by my side. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I, I mean in a, in a research capacity. Not like, you know, I, in a... <clears throat> you see, dinosaurs are not household pets. It's hard to get a fix on their emotional states, so the better we can understand their feelings and reactions, the better we can interact with them and care for them. In fact, Jurassic World's chief genetic engineer, Dr. Henry Wu, has encouraged us in this research. He spared no expense. So, is this like what that guy Owen is doing with those raptors? Cause I saw him save a dude who fell in their pen. Owen's awesome. Mr. Grady is working on behavioral training, whereas we're trying to decipher what's going on in the dinosaur's heads. So, what's going on in Jeannie's head right now? She seems a little nervous. Her headpiece is transmitting. These readings are off the chart. Something's really scaring Jeannie. Uh, guys, we're getting a phase one real world alert. What? Are you... The Indominus Rex has escaped its pad. Oh, no. No, no, no. Anything but that. What's an Indominus Rex? I've never heard of that dinosaur. Because Jurassic World created it. It's a vicious hybrid Dr. Wu cooked up in his lab. We need to evacuate and get to a dinosaur security bunker. Okay. I'll get Jeannie. The whole point of a dinosaur security bunker is no dinosaurs. How big is an Indominus Rex? Bigger than a Tyrannosaurus. Oh, it's right outside, isn't it? Let me check the lab's exterior cameras. Nothing there.
Bruce is dead. And the last guest evacuation boat has left. The doctor, we will make it out safely with the dinosaur embryos? Yes, sir. Good. Then gather your troops. It's time to abandon the island. Hello? Yes, this is Dr. Kate Walker calling from New York. I've been trying to reach Claire Deering, the former park operations manager of Jurassic World. She was one of the last people off the island and may have information I need to... No, I do not have in-gen clearance. Hello? Hello? Kate, you've been at this for the last three months. The Maserati Corporation is doing damage control. They're never going to let you talk to Claire. I need to know if anyone saw Jeannie after... after I left her behind. Kate, I, I keep telling you, it's not your fault. You had no choice. We all love Jeannie, but... But she's gone. You have to accept that and move on. I just miss her so much. We all do, Kate. Hey, Allison. You want to be the first guest on my new podcast? Dinosaur theme park. What could go wrong? Chad, I'm trying to work, which is what you're supposed to be doing. We're lucky they let us keep our internships. This new gig is boring. I mean, we've been working on adapting the dino decoder to use on monkeys for three months now. <sniffs> Snore! Yeah, I wish we could sew up with dinosaurs. I miss them. One of them tried to eat you. Okay, I, I don't miss all of them. Hey, Dr. R, you got it working. Um, uh, that shouldn't be flashing. The dino decoder! It's a readout. It must be from Jeannie. How do you know? The decoder is calibrated specifically to her brainwaves. It only works with her. She's still alive! She got away from the Indominus Rex! That's awesome! Oh, yes! Kate, you were right all along. You never gave up hope. Even though I specifically told you to. That's on me. I'm sorry. Wait, this reading isn't good. It's registering intense fear. Jeannie is really scared of something. Let me check the signal and make sure it's transmitting correctly. Oh, this is weird. This signal's not coming from Isla Nublar. I'm tracing it to a location somewhere else. She's in... the Atacama Desert? In Chile? Why would Jeannie be in Chile? Someone must have taken her there. And whatever they're up to is frightening her. Oh, Jeannie. I have to go help her. Kate! She's halfway around the world, and you don't know what you'd be walking into. Martin, I abandoned her once. I'm not going to do it again. Kate, this is reckless and dangerous, and there's no stopping you, is there? Nope. Then we're going together. Well, I mean, uh, not together together, but uh, you know. I'm coming too. Helping dinosaurs is why I wanted to be a paleo veterinarian in the first place. Count me in. Sounds like this has the makings of a sweet adventure. And about six episodes of my podcast. is an exquisite creature. If Dr. Walker's notes we salvaged from her lab are to be believed, it has an intelligence that rivals that of even... I don't care, Dr. Bordoff. My only concern is that your dino decoder prototype works. It will. But the original decoder was made for that Tromodon. So once I get my device working on her, I'll know how to modify it for use on our velociraptors. With Jurassic World gone, Dr. Wu is pushing our military raptor program into high gear. And I need this technology to help turn them into the perfect weapon. 
According to the readings on my dino decoder, the Troodon is in a calm, relaxed state. We can begin the emotional stimuli tests. Excellent. Move into position. Activate the electric barrier. Release the Troodon. Where is it? Results now, Dr. Bordoff. Vic Hoskins, my former boss, died because he didn't know what was going on in a raptor's head. Now that I'm in charge, I won't let that happen to me. Uh, an understandable concern, Mr. Reed. But, but don't forget, Dr. Walker and Dr. Riley had years of trial and error to perfect their device. Well, then maybe I should go get them. I highly doubt they'd agree to come here. Who said they have to agree? You're talking about kidnapping them? Well, it's not like they're just going to show up here on their own. We're here. Genie must be around here somewhere. What's an in-gen facility doing in the middle of the desert? I've always wanted to sneak into a secret military base. This is the best internship ever! Will you be quiet? Genie, are you in here? <laughs> Will you be quiet? Watch out for the searchlight! Quick! Uh, over here! Martin! They've got raptors here! Shh! Guys! Kate! No! What the? <laughs> Whoa! Next time you do that, give me a heads up so I can live stream it. Give me a heads up so I can duck. Officer! What are you doing here? Uh, making a living? What are you guys doing here? Jeannie's alive! And the Dino Decoder sent a signal that Martin traced to this place. Is she here? Yeah. We captured her last week and brought her here. But you guys need to get out of here before you're caught. Not without Jeannie. Look, if you crazy people want to throw it on so bad, just sneak back on the island and get her eggs. Wait. What do you mean? Eggs? We snagged Jeannie sitting on a nest with two of them. But eggs weren't part of the mission, so we left them there. You left those poor babies all alone? Hold on. I thought all the Troodons at Jurassic World were female. How are their babies? If you'd done your homework and read Dr. Ian Malcolm's book, you'd know that life finds a way. Martin, we have to find Jeannie's eggs before it's too late. Whoa, 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 wait a second. You want to go back to Jurassic World? A more dangerous place than this? No one is going anywhere. Kurt Reed. I should have known. You were right, Dr. Walker. Things are not over between us. What do you want with Jeannie? The same thing I want with your dino decoder. To apply it to Dr. Bordoff's Raptor Weapon Program. We'll never let you use our research for your military experiments. <laughs> Why do you think Dr. Wu was so encouraging of your work? Your findings were always going to be applied to our military assets. <laughs> Soldier, take the decoder, and put these prisoners in the holding cell. I'm sorry. I can't do that. That's an order, soldier. Then I guess you can consider this my resignation. Kate, you are bad luck for my career. Soldiers, move in and round up the intruders. Quick, run! Hey, free! Stop there! Don't move! Stay back! I'm warning you guys! She hits hard. I hit harder. 
Tell them to give up, Oscar. What are we gonna do? We're gonna even the odds. Janie! There's my girl. <laughs>
Those look a little large to be Troodon eggs. Well, if they're not genies, whose are they? Everybody, get back! I think those are Triceratops eggs. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Defending her young. Put the egg down. Sorry. I, I didn't mean to pick up your baby without asking. But I'm putting her down now. Very gently. So, no hard feelings. Right? Never 
never cease to amaze me. Looks like she's back on the move. We better go. Great. I'm sure there's no danger that way. Hey, guys! Just because I didn't recognize those eggs as Triceratops, that's not going to be reflected negatively on my internship evaluation, is it? Is it? Well, that's enough Adventure Zone for me. <laughs> Fantastic. I better start whittling myself a weapon. Adventure Zone, you did not disappoint. Yes! Perimeter secure! Search the area. You can come out now, Dr. Bordoff. Mr. Reed, I'm not really one for field work. <laughs> Especially when the field is infested with insects. Ah, I've had enough of your complaining. Remember, you are here to get the information you need about the Dino Decoder from Dr. Walker and Dr. Riley. And if you fail to do so, I will leave you on this island with them. How do you even know they went this way? You've never tracked anyone before, have you? There are fresh human footprints everywhere, as well as signs of a dinosaur fight. Lucky to be alive. How do you know they're alive? If the dinosaurs got them, there'd be more blood on the ground. We found their trail, sir. Excellent. All right, let's move out. Tell her how you 
of you. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're the only person not looking at the huge glowing dinosaurs. You clearly have a thing for Kate. I do not. Come on, man. You flew halfway around the world to help her sneak into a secret military base, then followed her onto an island full of deadly dinosaurs just to save her pet's eggs. <laughs> you got it bad. Okay, okay, it's true. Just don't tell anybody else. I don't need to. It's obvious. All right, all right. I'll talk to her. Oh, Martin, isn't this amazing? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, listen, Kate, there's something I need to tell you. I mean, I don't need to tell you, I, I want to tell you, because you need to know. <laughs> so I guess I do need to tell you. Hold that thought. I'm getting a strange reading on the Dino Decoder. Oh, good. Let's talk about that instead. The readings indicate that she's... sad. Hmm. What could she possibly be sad about? Don't you see? She's looking at a mother with her baby. Jeannie must be thinking about her own family. Don't worry. It's all going to work out once we find those eggs. We'll set up a new lab and, and Jeannie and her babies will feel right at home. Yeah. At home. Looks like break time's over. Let's move, people. Oh, man. I just started filming. <sighs> well, if I posted this video, everyone was just going to say, fake. I won't say it. Make sure you tag me. <laughs> survive out here on their own for so long. This island is full of scavengers. Something must have been picking them off. You don't mean... Oh no. What is it? I don't see anything. You're not pointing it in the right direction. <laughs> Tyrannodons! We gotta move now. I'm not worried about a bunch of featherless birds. We're the ones with the weapons. Now, give us the Troodon and the Dino to go. 
And while we're at it, we'll take those eggs, too. Can't hurt to have a couple of extra test subjects in the lab. The decoder's flashing red. What does that mean? Even I know what that means. Genie's very angry. of the Dino Dakota. How does it sync with the Troodon? Tell me, and I won't have him zap you. You coward. I'm not ducking because of you.
get it. We're walking forward. You don't have to keep shoving me. Do you get paid by the shove? Shut up! And make sure they're secure. Reed's not gonna be happy one of them already escaped. Collins. Sir, in my defense, he said, Hey look! A dinosaur! Anywhere else I would not have fallen for that. Ugh. Put the prisoners over there. This is the rendezvous point. I'm so over this island! We're never going to make it off this island alive, are we? If we don't, I just want to say thanks for saving my life earlier. Which will have ultimately been for nothing. But still. You saved my life too. You know, we make a pretty good team. That's because we're awesome. Hey, what about me? I've been saving people from the beginning. Isn't that like your job? Dude, I was just starting to like you. <laughs> Okay, you take the soldier on the left, and I'll take all the rest. Easy, cowboy. I like the new you, but we're a little outnumbered.
this island. Hey, uh, guys, can we get off this island too? Well, I think it's safe to say we're the first people to fight off a band of evil mercenaries with the help of a Troodon, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and a Velociraptor. Which is still here. Oh my gosh, the 